okay so welcome back to another video so in today's video we have a um, geometry theorem this is known as uh, Viviani's theorem named after the uh, Italian mathematician Vincenzo Viviani and the theorem is stated as follow the sum of the distance from any interior point to the sides of an equilateral triangle equals the length of the triangle's altitude so in case you didn't understand that in words, here's a little diagram that says from any interior point P that we can choose, if we actually denote the distance that touches the sides of the, um, of the equilateral triangle, and of course, um, usually with the angles here, it usually has to be orthogonal right angles. Um, that says that if you take the sums of these distances touching the sides of those triangles and take the sum of it, then you actually uh, get the whole triangle's altitude length. Hence, um, I define this as h, the, um, the whole triangle's height, and then the distance uts as the distance meeting that interior point from the sides. There's actually two ways to prove this. There's actually one specifically that's a visual proof, so you don't really need to write this out in words, which I will cover that eventually, but I'll also cover the second proof in terms of um, that actually uses the... Um, that uses the proposition about that um, a triangle's area is equal to half, um, one half times the base times the height. This theorem isn't really a theorem if it doesn't have its applications. Really specifically, um, this shows that um, if we were to make the extension that the lines are parallel to the sides of the um, equilateral triangle, this actually give the, gives the coordinates for making ontarianary plots uh, examples, the example specifically flammability diagrams, which um, I don't really know much much about this, but um, it actually shows the control of flammability in mixtures of fuel, um, oxygen, and inner gas, you know, typically nitrogen. An interesting thing is that um, the converse of this um, theorem holds that says that the sum of the distance of the interior point from an interior point of a triangle to the sides is independent of the location of the point, then the tri triangle is indeed equilateral. Actually, another thing to say about from the application point point standpoint is saying that um, this actually allows to give the um, coordinates on a regular simplex um, on a regular simplex in the same way. So that's really all I want to cover for you know this theorem itself. And I said that we're going to prove this two ways: one with a visual proof, and the second is like using the proposition of the um, idea of finding the area of a triangle. So we'll actually start off with the visual proof. So um, the way I'm going to do this is I'll sketch four steps of um, the visual proof and I'll explain them um, each step at a time so you can see the picture without me having to like use words. So it'll um, take a minute for me to sketch these steps. So just give me one second and then we'll jump in. Okay, so here are the four steps and then I uh, drew out the construction of how it works. So I'm going to explain each step at a time that actually helps summarize the proof visually in the geometric perspective of course so here we have that step one where i what i did was i draw the nearest distance from any interior point and i connect that to the sides of the um equilateral triangle I define this as abc then the next the step step two um i also just define this um the line the line segment over here just to denote the altitude of the whole triangle itself now the next step step two is that if I were to construct some line segments that you see denoted in red, you'll notice that um, I draw the lines that's actually parallel to the sides of the triangle. So hence you see line DE is parallel to AB, GF is parallel to CB, and then I, um, line segment IH is parallel to AC. And what that entails is that with drawing these um, with the parallel lines in between the segments over there, this actually defines similar triangles. Specifically, specifically we have PHE, uh, triangle PFI, and then triangle PDG. Okay, now the third step, since these um, triangles are equilateral, then what I can do is I can actually just rotate the altitude. So that actually says that we, these because these are equilateral triangles, so uh, we could actually just rotate the height of the triangle so it actually points from upward downward instead of um, in a way that all the dotted line is connecting towards that interior point. So that's step three. And then, um, well, no, no, I could just I could have just said that um, the altitude is vertical where the dotted lines we constructed. And then the final step, step four, notice that from the um, parallelogram PHCG, uh, 
since, um, of course, that's a parallelogram as stated, then what I can do is I can take this triangle PHE and I can actually just shift this upwards in order to see that we, if we were to take the sum of these dotted lines, the altitude of the heights, it actually comes to the sum of the altitude of this entire triangle. Since we parallelograms is actually basically makes up um, triangles. So it's the um, idea that we can actually construct from there and then just shift that triangle upwards. So that basically just proves um, the Viviani's theorem um, in a geometric or uh, visual perspective. So now let's actually do this with a uh, proof in words. So this proof in general actually it depends on the um, proposition that of course using your areas of triangles, the, um, the area of a triangle is half its base time, times its height. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to draw this same triangle again and then um, denote these, uh, denote our um, parameters over here and of course putting in the vertex as well. So um, here's our construction of the triangle. This is basically just the same thing we see over here. I actually just drew the line segment H just, just because in these next steps, um, we're gonna do a little, um, again, another construction utilizing the whole proposition of the whole area of triangles notion. We let, um, I let triangle ABC, we let that be an equilateral triangle. And since, because these are equilateral triangles, they all have the same side length. So I'll actually call the side length here, per se, we'll just call this lowercase a. Of course, we let, we just choose some interior point. I just call this P and then I actually draw the distance that connects to the, um, the sides of the equilateral triangle. And you can see that this is actually just forms right, it's orthogonal. So this is right angle here right angle here and then right angle over here. And now next what I can do is I can actually, we're gonna take the interior point and draw line segments that connects to the vertice. So um, I need to move this P over here since, um, so I'm gonna draw a line segment over here that connects to vertice B, okay? And I'll put P over here, so that's better. Then draw a line segment that connects from P to C, like so. And then draw one more line segment that connects from um, into from the point P to the vertice C A, like so. Using that whole generalization with um, the areas of triangles, we know that that's equal to um, one half times base times height. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to use that formula. So here we have. Um, I'm going to draw. I'm going to write out the area of the triangles. So we have triangle A B A P B. So we know that's the area, so it's just one half, then multiply with the height times the base, which is just um, S times A, then triangle um, BPC, this is equal to one half, then times, um, or, um, the, in this case, the height over here would be T times A, and then we have our final triangle um, CPA. CPA. <laughs> In case you don't know, that's actually a license to get in order to become um, for as a public accountant. Um, CPA is um, so it's just one half, then multiply with this um, the height over here and its side, so u times a, and then we know that the height of triangle ABC is just equal to one half times um, our base, which is a, and then the height which we denote that as h. Okay, so now let's actually add these three triangles together so that it actually forms the whole triangle. So in other words, we have, let me actually just write this in a different color. So we have triangle um, ABB plus um, triangle BD plus triangle uh, CPA equals triangle ABC. So in other words, just plug in the substitution. So we have, I'm actually just gonna move the SATA and UA into the numerator instead. Same thing for the HA as well. So we have um, SA divided by two plus TA divided by two, add this with UA divided by two, and then that's equal to HA divided by two. Well, see that I can actually just factor out the one half and then just multiply two to both sides, then all the twos from the denominator will cancel. So we're just left with SA plus TA plus UA equals HA, but guess what? They all have the variable A in common, so I'll just divide A to both sides. And so therefore the final conclusion to this theorem says that S plus T plus U is equal to H. Um, even though it's capitalized, but you know, this is just how the donate, um, 
That's how I denote it, so that's totally fine. And so there we have it. We just proved the theorem using words, but also proving using um, the visually, um, the visual steps, the geometric perspective, like so. So this is actually, um, I really like this theorem. I'm not really into geometry like that, don't get me wrong, but this is actually a really cool theorem. Um, explaining the whole point with into the one interior point of your choice anywhere in that equilateral triangle Yes, it has to be an equilateral triangle for this theorem to apply then taking its distance um, Between that point to the sides then adding those sides together such that or the distance such that um, The height of the whole triangle itself is equal to the sum of the um, distance between the sides to the interior point like so And so there we have it. So yeah, uh, that's a uh, pretty cool if you ask me